What? Logan? My son loves Logan Paul. Oh, oh Jake Paul. Jake Paul and Logan Paul. He doesn't like Logan Paul, I guess. What's up? What's up? Pull out that avocado. Hey, don't be scared about uh, cooking, dude. No, what could, the worst that's gonna happen, dude? You're nothing. Okay, you're gonna make something that's decent. You're gonna get it down, and you're gonna learn the next time. You gotta learn from everything you do. Everything you do, you gotta learn from. So, I'm gonna eat half a uh, half a avocado right here, just to add some uh, flavor to the little scramble I have here. Put the other half in for tomorrow. The kitty is so cute, dude. I love animals. I love them. I'll show you guys my little guy right now too. I know you guys want to see him. Dad, can the kitty have a little bit? If he wants it, does he want to eat? Oh my little man. Look at this little cute thing. Oh my blue blue. I just buff my baby. Yes, we love him. Yes, we love him. Look at his ears. Look at that thing. Look, you guys get jealous? You guys get jealous? Look yeah, at he's a heavy one. You guys get jealous. Hey, he's this little beast. I treat him like a like not a small dog. When I take him to dog park, he hangs out with the big guys. You don't want a like little weird dog that's gonna bark at everyone. This dog does not I do not allow my dogs to really bark at a lot. People just people just need to put time into their animals and their kids. All it is is time, dude. Yeah you know I mean you get what you put in with everything in life. You're gonna put half ass work, you're gonna put half energy into your kids, into your animals. You're not gonna get the results of something, someone that put it. What'd you say? What? You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. That's what Colson said. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Cause you're gonna get what you put in. So don't be complaining like, oh, I don't get this. You get what you put in, okay? You get what you put in. This is hard work dedication right here. This ain't easy. But I love it, and I'm gonna keep doing it. It's not hard when you love something, and when it starts to work, it starts to get that motivation to keep going. So, it's what it is. What it is. Dude, this is huge. Look at what we got here, guys. I just wanna show you how big this meal is. Boom. You know that's looking good? Look at it. Potatoes, meat, egg. Then we're gonna throw on some avocado. We'll slice it up. Look at it. You throw some slices down it. Little slices this way. All the way down. Then you do some slices the other way. Like that. Nice little plate. You ate all those eggs already? You're good, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Feed those kids. Teach them that eating is good. They feel good. Oh, you showing that you're done? Good job, dude. I'm proud of you. Always encourage them. Yeah, I mean, encourage the youngsters. It's a, it's a hard life out there. It's not easy. Thank you. I'll watch it. Thank you, dude. All right, so here we are. Now we got this. Now we got this. You slice with that. The reason I did that, so then you just fold it in half and you scrape it out. And it just falls buddy, out. That, Watch. It's all the money I have. No, it falls right out. And Pretty all simple. the money I have. All your money? You got lots of money, dude. I like that. You're a rich little boy, aren't you? Nice little breakfast right here. Eat this real fast. There you go, and then my toast. And I don't even throw, I'll throw a tiny, tiny bit of butter on it. But sometimes I do some jelly with nothing on it. It's like this natural jelly, like jalapeno jelly I do sometimes. I got out there if it, uh, during the, uh, the Halloween 
and there was like some like honey or uh, all the stuff. A little bit of this. You don't need to be perfect, dude. I'm just saying. Like, I, you don't need to be some weird person that thinks you gotta eat exactly, exactly perfect, dude. Go. Okay? You gotta work out. So I'm gonna go kill the weights. So look at it. Daniel's bread. Damn, this is looking bomb. Like, look at this. You guys know that's looking good. No, that's looking good. I know you were getting hungry. I'm hungry now that I cooked it. Let it sit for a second. I'll clean up my mess. You know what I mean? Make sure you clean up your mess. You just want to stay ahead. Don't let your mess sit there. That's 10 days before Christmas. 10 days before Christmas? You excited, dude? Santa Claus is coming? I'm excited too. Santa Claus. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Dude, every time I walk construction, I'm like, well, boom! Just fucking like savage. Boom! 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 Wait, it was not. Uh, you guys want to stick with me? I, no, we're good for a little bit. Nice seeing you guys this morning, cooking with Brad Castleberry. It's all about that positive movement that I have going, Castleberry movement. Stay positive, help others, uplift, and be you. That's what it's about. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys this morning because hey, it's early this morning. Smile at someone, you're walking by, they get con eye contact with you, smile, say hello. That might just change the rest of their day. They could have just been in a good mood, no one's even talked to them. Just say hi, anything like that, a smile. Don't engage in negativity. You know what I mean? It's really easy to do that. And these days, it's so easy to do that with social media and being behind a screen and people thinking they can say things that's not hurtful. Dude, words can hurt people's feelings. And I just want to say, like, like I'm, I'm pretty strong about it. I, I, I'm, I don't really care. You know what I mean? But I mean, for myself and my kids and people like that love me and looking on my, my feet, it really hurts their feelings seeing, like, hey, when you're working hard, you don't deserve to be tried to brought down. You know what I mean? Like, uplift others. Up, 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 up. Dude, we don't know where people's minds are at. What? You found the elf on the shelf? Right here. Oh, dang, dude. So, I'm just saying, we all have different lives. We all have different things we're going through. You don't know what they're going through that day or what just happened. So, hey, anything can help to be positive and anything can change somebody's life to just saying hi makes the big big difference and I just say uh, do something today for kindness that's uh, something different that you're not usually used to doing it's gonna make you feel better even in the way they react to it and just see what's up so it's uh that's what I'm about today S morning Saturday positive help others and make it happen that's just telling you guys over and over because uh, I don't want you to forget it and I, I really want you to do something today call your mom call your dad for forgive you know what I mean like uh, what it is don't 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 hold a grudge over something that's like forever ago you do i like that so and i didn't talk to my dad for a long long time oh that's a present colson got for his mommy um and man it really has affected me dude and i i had to like man up and say apologize i went crazy sometimes you do go crazy with words and man they're words dude you can forgive actions speak louder so go and make something forgive somebody if you've done something bad or you've said some bad words to somebody and it's really been on your mind about it make that just throw it out a text make a phone call apologize you know what i mean and to be like be the bigger person and then yeah sometimes people can't be the bigger person and you, you got to be that person to like break that ice and then it's like why were we even mad dude it was some stupid words we 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 did we said months ago so I said some horrible things with my dad, man. It was it was some bad things, but I needed to say it. Sometimes you just gotta say some things that are on your mind and it's what it is. And man, and you only have one dad, you only have one parent, you only have brothers, sisters, or the the friends or family. They're like, there's not that many good people in this world. And uh, if you do come across some good people, keep them in your life. And that, that's just what it's about. So don't, uh, don't hold grudges, forgive. Call somebody back today that uh, maybe you had a problem with, forgive them. Apologize if you you need to apologize. Who cares who was right and wrong? And I got Break a the ice. For the whole family. Uh, Colson got us a present for the whole family. Brought it home from school. I like that one. It's you made that whole thing. Because it's heavier. We'll go put it under the tree. That that I have to take out one. Okay. And, and that, that has to lie under the tree. Okay.
I do that. that was so that's what we're about today and go do it. So hey, later guys. And uh, it was good talking to you guys this morning because it uh, really helps me just expressing my feelings and really able to uh, make you guys feel better because it makes me feel better being able to change people's lives. I see it every day. Dude, I went to the mall yesterday, dude. These kids came up to me and like, like, Brad Gossamer, you motivate me. You, you really uplift me, man. That's what it's about, dude. Helping others, them coming up to you. Be friendly, be kind. What it's, that's just what it's on, dude. So I just want you guys to keep moving forward. Don't allow little things to stop you because, hey, it's just a speed bump. You know what I mean? Roadblocks come, speed bumps come. Fucking break that shit. Jump over it. Nothing can stop you. Be unstoppable. The time is now. Hey, have a good Sunday, Saturday, I mean, and uh, make sure you guys eat, eat, eat. Keep that metabolism rolling. Look at that. I didn't create this physique on just dieting and uh, not eating, and uh, so it's what it is, and boom, go get it. And hey, you guys need some best pre-workout out there? I got the best pre-workout on the market. You guys need to try it. It's the best flavor. You guys see me take it in my mouth. I don't even need water. You normally don't need to take it like that. Put it in a nice little cup of water. Put it in a water bottle. Drink it down. On your way to the gym. Power up. Pushing those limits. What's up? You can't? We'll put it on the table. We'll put it to the side. So, but hey, later guys. Boom. Say bye, Colson. Say bye. Bye. There, guys.